Credit rating agency Moody's has downgraded the UK from its sterling AAA rating to AA1 for the first time in 35 years. Moody's announcing the first ever downgrade of the UK's pristine credit rating by a whole notch, blaming weak growth and political turmoil for throwing its deficit reduction plan off course. But the big news wasn't met with the same animosity as when the U.S. was downgraded in 2011. Bloomberg points out the difference, saying the downgrade comes as little surprise. The U.K. has a similar gross debt to GDP ratio as France and the U.S., both countries who have lost their triple A's in recent history. What does this all mean for the UK? Well, in theory, it could make the cost of borrowing more expensive, but I don't think it's going to have a huge market impact. The market's newer downgrade was in the pipeline. There have been warnings. As of 2013, the only two countries still maintaining a AAA rating are Canada and Germany. But why does it matter? Al Jazeera breaks down specifics following the U.S. downgrade a little over a year ago. First, Moody's is a credit rating agency that rates countries similar to how Experian rates individuals. The downgrade, simply put, is similar to what happens when an individual makes a late payment, a slight drop in his or her credit score, and maybe higher interest rates. It most likely won't affect individuals living in the UK, but it could mean slightly higher interest rates on credit cards or mortgages. While economists seem at odds over the economic impact, the Independent says it's a humiliating blow to Chancellor George Osborne. Writing the first test of his policy was to avoid it. So clearly for him, politically, it is a very, very bad moment. In an analysis on Sky News, economics editor Ed Conway says the downgrade is simply a reaction to a serious problem in the UK. The UK hasn't regained the total size of its economy that it was back in 2008. As long as you're not generating that income, whether it's for people, whether it's for businesses, you don't get the tax in and then you face the, the possibility of not being able to pay your debts. A contributor for Forbes writes that since the government still has its own currency and isn't dependent on the euro, the issue doesn't even matter. The government's creditworthiness is impeccable simply because the Bank of England can print as much money as is necessary. There is no chance of the government ever having to default on its obligations to borrowers. While many are calling for the Chancellor to change how he is managing the economy, he is fighting back, saying the downgrade is an opportunity to double down and stay the course. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.